All right, welcome back. Time now for our community update with Green Bay Mayor Eric Enrich. And let's start this morning talking about two open houses that are coming up. Why are you holding them? What are they about? Well, first of all, I just have to say this is a, an incredibly early morning after a, a fantastic <laughs> Packers victory. <laughs> for uh, us so all I don't know there. how you for guys us, do it every day, all. but yeah, uh, but really glad to be here, of course. Um, yes, yeah, so we have a couple budget open houses that are coming up. Um, as you know, the city needs to pass a budget every year, um, so this is uh, this is our most consequential policy document that we deal with on an annual basis um, and we really want to get the public involved in this discussion so we are going to have a couple of open houses one on the east side one on the west side uh, first one on October 24th from 7 to 8 30 uh, the second one on October 28th uh, seven time, same time frame 7 to 8 30 uh, and again just really looking forward to people engaging in the process um, offering their feedback and input um, into the city budget. You said when where are they? Yeah so on the east side we're going to be at Triangle Hill um, and then on the west side it's going to be at Perkins Park. And more information, of course, available on the website uh, would be on the community calendar, so folks can, can get the information there. Okay. All right, an upcoming Joint Finance and Personnel Committee meeting. Talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, so that'll be on the, on the 29th, um, where our, our committee, the, the Finance and Personnel Committee, will deal with, with the budget, and then it's on to uh, full council on November 5th. Um, so a number of opportunities, um, really inviting the public to engage uh, at, at every turn. Now, the Monroe Avenue lot development is pretty exciting for those living downtown. It is, yeah, it, you know, especially the grocery store element of it um, is something that folks in the community have been asking for uh, for quite some time. So it's really nice to, to be able to bring this proposal to the table, um, receive the stamp of approval, at least a, on a preliminary basis from the Redevelopment Authority. I'm going to be talking with our, our council about this development as well. But as you said, grocery store, you know, 24,000 square foot. Um, small chain in Wisconsin, Mowers Market. They have a presence in Janesville and Wisconsin Dells and then kind of an urban market in Milwaukee. Um, also some affordable housing units associated with this development, which is a, a huge need in our community. Um, so very excited that we're able to, to bring this forward. I don't want to throw you a curveball, but, but how, you know, how did we you know, kind of see Mauer really fitting in to the downtown uh, Green Bay type market. You mentioned right. some of the other areas they were in. What drew them to Green Bay and, and why are they a good fit? So, uh, you know, Gorman, who is uh, one of the partners in the development along with NeighborWorks, um, Ted Mactum um, actually visited uh, a Mowers Market in Milwaukee, was very impressed mm -hmm. with, uh, w with what they're doing uh, in that environment and, and really wanted to develop, to develop a partnership as a result um, and felt like it's a really good fit for Green Bay and of course uh, we, uh, we uh, very much agree. Good. Yeah. Now, the Wisconsin Historical <clears throat> Society is honoring two local businesses. First, the Neville Public Museum is receiving the 2019 Museum Exhibit Award. Yeah, that's fantastic. I can't say enough good things about the, the Neville Public Museum. Um, we uh, are, as a family, we've been a member of the Neville for three, four years now. Um, just an incredible job that they've been doing, uh, you know, and it's, of course, had a great presence in our community for many years, but I think Beth and her team have really upped the game of the Neville and certainly worthy uh, of this recognition. Really excited to see them honored in that way. And, and that course, one's with the, about the Packers, too. Yeah, right. Exhibit. Yeah, fantastic mm -hmm. exhibit. Yep, had a chance to, to go through that a number of times, and, uh, and yeah, as I said, very worthy of, of recognition there. And second, of course, the Hotel Northland receiving the Historic Restoration Award. Yes, yeah, I mean, that was a, a long time coming, obviously, to, mm -hmm. to see the ultimate restoration of the Hotel Northland. Uh, but it is a total gem for our downtown and for our entire community. Um, so very excited to be, uh, be able to participate in the, in the ceremony today, um, recognizing uh, all the great work that, that has been done there between uh, Greenwood and, and, and Marriott, and uh, just very excited for, for what uh, Hotel Northland has brought back to our, uh, our downtown. It right. is absolutely beautiful what it they is. did at that hotel. It's, yep, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. They yeah. did a great job. Absolutely. All right, thanks, Mayor, for joining us. We yeah. appreciate it and giving us the community update. Thanks so much Especially for having Especially after a late Packer game. <laughs> That's <Yes>. right. <laughs> Happy you. to have the victory, though. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Stay right with us. We'll be right back.